a gray day over Spokane. I kind of like it this time of year. It really gives the fall leaves a cool background. Those that haven't blown off the trees are going to be blowing around for the next few days. Your forecast for for tonight. If it is not raining at your house yet, it will be. And the winds picking up tonight as well. Gust 30 miles per hour, 42 for an overnight low, 50 tomorrow, a chance of showers. And we'll show you the computer model in just a moment. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour in the afternoon. 57 are high today. 56 is average. No precipitation officially at the airport. I certainly had some sprinkles on my windshield throughout the day. 55 right now and cloudy winds generally light right now in Coeur d'Alene, mostly cloudy and 57 with light winds. Wildlife Thursday, we normally do it on Wednesday, but we're coats for kidsing it uh, on Wednesday through October. Lovely shot of Mr. and Mrs. Wood Duck enjoying the uh, last days of their time at Cannon Hill Park. They'll be heading to warmer climates here very soon, thanks to Jerry and Mary Kay Rowles for that shot. Lovely moose. I thought it was on a golf course, but apparently, I think this is Chris Sanders' backyard in Colbert. A uh, beautiful shot there of a big old moose enjoying golf like con course like conditions there. And finally, a coyote through the lens of Mark Vogt. This coyote was near Nordman and Mark pointed out this coyote has an extra thick winter coat. He may know something about the upcoming winter and NOAA released its winter outlook today. I have that on my Facebook page. I think this coyote and NOAA are thinking similar thoughts about the upcoming winter. Rain across the region, but it is mostly to our west. That is not the case for long. This disturbance is moving on in. We're gonna get quite rainy here very soon. Here's our computer model forecast, bringing in those steady soaking rains overnight. Then at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, at least in Eastern Washington, we start to dry out, keeping the rain going in North Idaho for part of Friday. And showing mostly dry but windy conditions across the region tomorrow. So we have one front off to our east, another disturbance passing through tonight. Get a little bit of a break during the day on Friday, but like Plains over O'Hare, there's another one uh, ready to move in behind that for more wet, windy weather this weekend before the parade of storms finally comes to an end heading into next work week. Lows tonight will be in the 40s, highs tomorrow in the 40s and 50s. Not much of a warm up there. Your seven day forecast. If I stand here, it looks pretty bleak. And then when I move, take a look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Pretty fall weather ahead. Uh, boy, what do you do with the leaves in the yard on with a weekend like this? Do you even bother? Maybe start on Monday? Yeah, wait till they dry out. I guess it's a little easier. I you know, guess. Yeah, soggy, that's... heavy leaves.